Hi there, I don't know if you can see me, it's dark, it's about half five in the evening in January. I'm cycling on the back roads of County Longford and I just passed this house up here that has the most extraordinary collection in the garden and I'm just going to go up and see if I can uh, talk to the people in the house. I can hear a radio on in the shed here. I think they're listening to Death Notices on the local station. I'll just wait till they're finished. It's a big deal in rural Ireland, the Death Notices on the local station. Meet Anne and Dan Murta. And it's not the Santis in their garden that's interesting, but what's at the back of their house. There they've converted an old turkey shed into this. Their own personal pub. They got the idea 15 years ago when the pub culture changed in Ireland with drink driving clamp downs and smoking bans. Both of us had been smoking and then the smoking ban came in and that made it more difficult of a damp night to have to walk outside of a pub to have a ciggy. Getting a taxi was making the whole night's entertainment a bit expensive. So we decided we'd uh, convert this into a pub and have our fun here. Anne says this pub is for neighbours and friends to use on a Saturday night. It's really a traditional rambling house. Neighbours comes in and has a bit of dancing and music and one thing and another. There's one particular man comes, loves coming here. He's about three quarters blind. Mm. But because we put on good lighting and has the paint, place painted in a brightest colour, he can dance. He doesn't like going to other functions of places where it would be dark because he can't see. So when he comes here, he, he feels safe in the surroundings and he's able to go to the toilet without being led. That's the gents in there. Oh, You'll be a rhino, then all. Oh, yeah. And then we have parties. We have... Maybe 50 at 40, 70 at birthday, 80 at birthday parties. It'll be all a lot of our own age group that who enjoys a bit of fun and a bit of dancing. And you wouldn't have 16 year olds now or 17 year olds really here, you know. They don't run up against the law because there's no till. If you're drinking Guinness, you contribute to the cost of the keg. Otherwise, you bring your own drink. People would bring in a bottle. Nobody touches it. Or maybe if there was a, a big party going some night and you were running short, you might borrow a couple of drinks out of it. But if that's the case, it's replaced for that person again. But the best of all about the Murtis she been is what happens when someone has too much to drink. How do you manage if people get jarred and they start causing trouble? And They're fired into the room and to bed. <laughs> There's a bedroom in there. <laughs> They're fired into it. And oh, it wants to stay to stay overnight. In the house? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Come no problem. On. Social welfare should be paying you for <laughs> <laughs> There you are, Anne and Dan Murta from Abbey Shrewl, County Longford, with a very particular kind of community work. Sorry I wasn't there on a Saturday night, maybe some other time. See you next time. <laughs>